Hey everybody. I'm doing a short review on the room that we have had for almost a week here in Chicago at the Millennial Millennium, sorry, Knickerbocker. Uh, we're on the 12th floor. I think believe there's 14 floors, and room is 1208. If if that's any um, you know, of interest to you, so. I put this really early. It's a really cool historic hotel. It's modernized though, um, and there's some there's a lot of pluses and there's a few minuses. <laughs> some minuses that I probably wouldn't book here again. And uh, well, let me let me show you around. It's a small room, but it's it's cute. And and we'll start with the view actually. Let me flip you around. All right. So I think these are condos. That's a little parking garage. This over here is a hotel. Really cool old building. I think this big one here is a condo. I think these are residential, honestly. And the location is awesome. It's on Weston Street, and it's literally a half block from um, Michigan, which is the beginning of the Magnificent Mile. If any of you guys know about high-end shopping, not that we're here for that, but um, it's central, it's a good location for that. And we're actually just down the street to uh, a beach along um, Lake Michigan as well. I think it's called the Oak Street Beach or something like that. Um, really nice area. Okay, so, and please just don't look at the mess. <laughs> um, it's a single king and you know, it's got one little chair, a desk, a TV. Um, this thing is kind of wonky. This, this is uh, probably just coming to touch there. Uh, it has a fridge, has a half-eaten apple muffin, <laughs> apple and cinnamon muffin. Let me hold this up so I can shut it. Yeah, so you have to jimmy that. There is a fridge in there. Um, no microwave. There is also a um, coffee maker inside that we could take out and, uh, and use. Um, really cool artwork. Showers go in. I'm going to show you that in a little while. Or the restroom anyways. Um, my my sloppy thing, me, um, comes with a, you can iron, here, oh, some drying socks, hello, um, it was rainy, so we got some of these rain ponchos, so we've got a closet with a safe if you need it up there, extra pillows, and uh, boom, that's it basically, and I will show you this in a few. Always forget, some people like to look to see if you've got charging ports on on the lamp. It does have a regular charging part, uh, port. It does not have USB charging ports, even on the desk. Let's walk over here. All it has is just your normal charging port, so you would need the block if you need to charge. Um, same thing with that. It has one little plug, um, which is adequate for me. I mean, I do try to remember to bring my block, but if you just have your USB cord, it's not going to work for you. Also, there's food on down below. Um, it has a workout room on room on, on level two and they have complimentary water there. We didn't discover that until like yesterday. So that's nice because we've been buying water as we come and go and uh, it's nice to have complimentary water. They did hand us two when we checked in um, as well. Um, and on the bottom floor there is a restaurant called Nick's NIX. Uh, you can get breakfast and lunch there. It's kind of pricey but it's just nice it's not free. It doesn't come with a room. You have to pay for it. Uh, but it's good food. And um, there's also a martini bar attached that you can get food there as well. Um, or just, you know, salty snacks while you drink. And they have these awesome martinis. And I think they're reasonably priced. I think they're all like $15 or $16 each. Which is a little bit more than, you know, at home. But that's still not terrible. Um, we've only had an opportunity to drink once. Maybe we can tonight. We'll see. And I, I tried one called the Chunky Monkey, which is, um, there's like chocolate liqueur, banana liqueur, and vodka, and I think white chocolate liqueur as well. It was delicious. So, we'll see. <laughs> as long as our, both of our heads are feeling good after dinner, we might go down for a drink tonight. Um, but it's a really cool ambiance down there as well. Um, uh, this hotel used to be one of Al Capone's speakeasies. Um, so you've got that history too. So this is the restroom. This is what kind of is the deal breaker, um, uh, at least for me, I don't know about Tammy, um, uh, for maybe staying here again. Um, cool little sliding door, modern, cool restroom. And sorry, someone was just taking a shower, so it's kind of wet. 
<laughs> messy in here. Um, you know, this is nice. This is cool. Um, your generic restroom. Um, toilet was interesting. Um, and this was interesting as well. Looks pretty. Number one problem. For some reason, they installed this rest, this toilet for people who are probably seven foot tall. Because when you sit on it, your feet dangle. <laughs> if you're lucky and you're somewhat tall like me, you can put your toes on the ground. <laughs> Try going to the restroom when you're doing that. It's, it's, it's not good. <laughs> so it has not been a pleasant stay when it comes to toilet. Anyways, um, this also is really cool. I love those those uh, those showers, this style of shower. And it also has this little hand thing, which somebody forgot to turn towards the uh, um, wall. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's kind of, it's hard to figure out there. And once you do, it works well, except there's no pressure with this one up here. That is good. But in the middle of the shower, sometimes, not always, it will decide to turn scorching hot or just stop working completely. Then you have to shut it off, turn it back on, and hope that you get a good temperature. Sometimes it's freezing cold, sometimes it's scorching hot, and it's just a guessing game. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's no fun. So the toilet issue will probably prevent us from booking here again, even though everything else has been really good. So anyways, this hotel is really awesome if you're a tall person. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I can't say, you know, the, the service has been really great. I will say that. They're really good people here, and it's a beautiful hotel. Um, just the design is kind of odd and difficult. But thank you guys for joining us. And again, this is a review of uh, room 1208 at the Millennium Knickerbocker here in Chicago. And Tammy, I can't film her. I'm not allowed to. But what do you have to say, or what do you want to say to chime in? Um. <laughs> just um? Um. Uh... I forget what I normally say. Oh, well. Do you agree? Disagree? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree with everything you said. All right. Okay. We're, good. We're saying bye to Chicago here. Mama, say, oh, my hair. <laughs> I haven't done my hair yet. I'm not supposed to video myself. <laughs> I we were waiting till we got home. No, wait, this isn't an outro. We're still going to take I'm footage of the trip home. But but say bye, Chicago. Bye, Chicago. I'm wearing my Wrigley Field hat today, so I don't have to style my hair. And I've got a Southside shirt on, so, you know, mixed, mixed allegiances. <laughs>2 hours before our flight from Phoenix goes to Palm Springs. As much fun as we have here, we want to go home and see how the cats are doing and wake my store up from vacation <laughs> and get stuff shipped and sell more, right? Mm, yeah. I don't want to go back to my 9 to 5, but mm, got to do that. That's what pays for the vacations, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. We got a little kitty cat. Oh, oh scared. Oh no. Kitty cat. Walking around in the airport. Big bubble stress. Really pretty white kitty cat. I'm not quite focusing. Hmm. Careful, you might not be able to get her out. She's over visiting a, a man now. Hi. Do you like me? Yeah, it's not focusing when I'm doing it anymore. <laughs> oh god, what, what is it gonna do? <laughs> oh, I hope. <laughs> Knocked over. Careful.
careful, the cat will just... N oh, oh, cat's going, um, I'm going to get on the flight now. Um, <laughs> beautiful cat.